The Department of Mental Health is in the process of transferring control from a federal management team back to the government, and much of that transition depends on a partnership between the FMT and the department's director, who will resume responsibility when federal control ends. Director Wilfred Affigley submitted his resignation a few weeks ago to Governor Eddie Calvo, citing health reasons. But the announcement didn't come as a surprise to Dr. Kiffer, who says he's known about Affigley's plans to step down months ago. He, uh, I think, submitted a letter some time ago um, to, to Adloop mm -hmm. saying that his health was declining and he has to uh, step down for health reasons. Uh, we've we've kind of talked about it through the summer, so it wasn't a complete surprise, actually that I was, uh, then he has been worried about, you know, his, his health and uh, um, so he, he eventually, or he decided a couple weeks ago that this would be the best course of action for him. With Affligui leaving, Deputy Director Ray Vega, who just joined the team last month from his previous post as Guam Memorial Hospital Interim CEO, will now take over the leadership of mental health for the time being until Governor Calvo appoints a new director. He stepped right in here. It's, very close and model wise probably from GMH to DMH and um, uh, so he, he he didn't have any trouble fitting into this role and now he um, slipping right into the interim director's role very easily. Part of the function is to follow what's in the API mm -hmm. and and he's well versed in the API and so he should just say okay here's what here's what's here's what we're doing and, and here's how it's been done um, what the FMT has brought on and he'll just continue doing that. I, I don't think there's going to be any any major uh, hiccups or problems um, in that. Regardless of who takes over, Dr. Kiffer says there are a number of concerns he still has for the department after he leaves. One of them is filling 39 positions that will become vacant. The 39 individuals are currently working under the federal management team, and with the deadline looming, Kiffer is worried not all positions will be filled because of budget concerns. Now, um, I am worried that that's going to that, that will be ongoing when I finish, mm -hmm. and we'll see how that's going. And, I'll, you know, the judge is following it pretty closely, too, so, so we'll see what happens. You don't think those positions will be filled before you leave? Some of the easier ones to fill will be. Okay. So there are some more complicated ones. Um, that may not be. I, I, I don't know. Kiffer says they are now reconciling the staffing documents to see how much funds will be available. And once that's been ironed out, the department will make announcements to begin the hiring process to fill the positions. Meanwhile, he extends his gratitude to Affligui for his service at the department. He's been here uh, when we're FMTs. He's worked very well with us. Um, and I would like to thank him for that. He's done a good job here. He's got good leadership skills and he stays on top of things. Um, he's made a lot of valuable input and has been um, you know, a team player all the way and he's gonna be missed. I wanna thank him for everything he's done for the department and, and wish him the best in his, his uh, retirement and, and certainly with his health.